guys, and welcome to a new video. Note for students, enjoy some everyday use for caps and context. For English definitions, check the description below. Note for others, enjoy. That's all. Sometimes we feel we're flying blind and out of nowhere we find ourselves drowning in obstacles that would rather than to call them challenges, well, you know, to satisfy this inner positive voice inside us. Other times, however, this positivity fails us and loses its path to our souls. Yeah. Right there, our souls start digging for comfort treasures, but this time not from the inside, because by then it got old and rusty in there. But I got a question for you. When you hear the word treasure, what is the first thing pops into your head? Besides Bruno Mars' song? Well, your answer would probably be Treasure Island, whether the novel or the enemy. <laughs> Thank you for this answer, but it's not what I'm looking for. How about we take gold as the answer? Kinda can't deny how precious gold is and how people for centuries been fond of going in search for it. Good news is, you don't really need to go anywhere, because in this video, I'll show you some golden ways to support a sad, disappointed, heartbroken, miserable soul. Treasure number one. I'd like to call it the are you okay kind of support, call me when you need me kind of support or simply it's gonna be your right kind of support let's put it this way to unlock any chest we need the right key don't we so let's say that words are a master key here Hamza Yusuf once said don't ever diminish the power of words words move hearts and hearts move limbs a round of applause please Hmm, I totally get it. Some of us are into skilled users of words, and that takes us to support treasure number two. If your actions speak louder than your words, then you're the most suitable hunter for this treasure. Just like Kumiko from the movie. Anybody seen it before? So when you see a sad, disappointed, heartbroken, miserable soul, you'll give it a hand. Maybe you wipe it up a little bit, maybe fix it up a little bit, maybe doing something really. Yes, you're silent, but you're not passive. Oops, sorry. Hold on a minute. Life's streets are not bathed with comfort, aren't they? I'm sorry, let me just place this in the middle. Perfect, thank you. So what if you're not a wordsmith, nor the taking over to do things type? Well, you let the soul down. Of course not. Allow me to introduce you to my last, but certainly not least, and forever favorite way of support, support treasure number three. So what do we got here? Let's put this with this. Okay, this will go here. Yes, you're the giving type of supporter. Mm. Regardless of what your gift giving habit is, sometimes reminders like I care for you, I'll always be there for you, I'm doing my best just for you in the shape of a gift would uplift this soul. And guys, don't let me start on how edible gifts can swing moods, bring joy, mm. ease hearts. I mean, if your soul is the foodie type, there is a probably nothing worse than seeing someone down, especially if that someone is your everything. 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 So how do you guys show support? What's your favorite support treasure? Do you have different support treasures? Cool. Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I hope it was a gold mine of useful information. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe subscribe to my channel. Maybe. We're all set for now. So bye bye bye. Show you when you're